Hey guys, welcome to IG Live, and um, it's going to be a good one. Just you and I are really tired. <laughs> You're not so tired because well, you've been on vacation. For, <laughs> wait, where were you on vacation? I was just like moving and like being okay. with the kids. Oh, we would have so. called your ass to come right. in. Like, <laughs> Oh, yeah. like, no, I am away. I am away in Sweden and cannot pick up the phone next year. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, three things that we're going to talk to you guys about today. Um, one of them is proportions. Um, where things fit on you. How to wear things so that you don't feel overwhelmed. It's not about dressing in a way to look taller or. I don't if you dress to look shorter, it's not about that. It's about dressing in a way that makes you feel really good, confident, and just, um, you know, not like you're swimming in your clothing, right? Um, and the other thing is about wearing things that are emotional and fun. And the last thing is kind of that bummer dressing that when fall and summer really smash into each other. And today in New York is a good example of it because it's September and everyone's like kind of amped to be wearing fall but it's like 80 degrees out and sunny, and so, yeah, keep it. you know, yeah, you don't wanna look like an asshole. So, mm -hmm. knowing how to dress like that is really helps you out there. So, let's start first with dressing kind of in an emotional way, because you're wearing the kangaroo t-shirt. Yeah. And a lot of people asked um, why, like, what's up with the kangaroo? Why the kangaroo? Will you show him a little closer? He's, yeah. So Tracy's husband, Jeremy, is a, an amazing photographer, Jeremy Amar, and they shot these photos. I think J Tracy ran around with them too yeah. while well, they were shooting. They just placing them all over New York and shooting them, actually in Brooklyn. Um, and people ask why kangaroos, and I think you kind of always have the answer for that. Like, yeah. Uh, you know, when we start like, thinking about new season, and then you we just want to look around that will we make us happy first. So like in the, when you go out, you know, looking around in you know, the street and wherever you really want to get ins inspired by, and then Trace actually told me she just went out and then you know go some like vintage store or something, mm -hmm. and then she's so that like, cutie like sitting there. And the then little she, kangaroo. Yeah, a little kangaroo there, and then she actually grab it because it, it makes fears very happy when you see yeah, it. So like, oh, why don't we bring it in our story? So she grab it, and then she started taking picture with her husband. So that actually how it started, and then we adopted to our sweater in Persia because this was a little touches, and then we really liked it, and then we took a picture around like three dimensional. Mm -hmm. So it best. was mm -hmm. cute, the backside of uh, kangaroo. So we just, you know, like, let's create another shape with the kangaroo, right? It's a very cute side of kangaroo. And so that's how we create it. Yeah. And I want to show, now, so the sweater is, you designed this sweater, and it's not a print. No. This is an intarsia, but it's actually quite a special technique. It's not just yeah. a regular intarsia either. Yeah. Did you use combinations of yarns on this? Or? These are actually the same yarn or same yarn, but uh -huh. the way we actually created was uh, a special technique of jacquard at the back here. So, mm -hmm. you know, this would make room more intarsia because usually jacquard is very heavy or overrun. But just only for the you know, special the shape we use that. So that technique actually make this more three dimensional. It, when you touch, you kind of feel a little bit like uh, thicker. Yeah, it's, the other it's, ra side. it's raised up. Raised, and I think yeah. that's what yeah. is interesting because the traditional intarsia sometimes doesn't look so rich either. Also, you know? it can be really heavy. So right. I love yeah. how like lightweight. Yeah. So we. It's mixed with a very light soap to weigh like weight lambsol, but we have like kind of you kind of fear the weight, but in good way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's how we coming out. Now I'll say for me, since we're talking about this farmer dressing and things that are right for right now, I love this sweater, but I do have to wear it inside in heavy air conditioning because even though it is a lighter weight, which is great with the wool, the wool gives a real nice insulation. And it is also hot as, it's hot when you're like, it sticks to your body. So this is like, wear it in air conditioning, but don't, not on the subway. You know, those cold, <laughs> chilly offices. Yeah, <laughs> this is perfect yeah. for that. Which is yeah. not our, 
Why are we cold and chilly in here? Sometimes we are, maybe. <laughs> we should really I'm hot in here. Yeah. Um, but this sweater we also did to go with your the right. patent pants you're wearing. So you're wearing the patent leather, the faux patent brand koozie. What size are you wearing? These are um, an eight. Okay. These should be or six. Sorry, six. Do you six, mind if I no, check? No, yeah, yeah, it should be. Six. Yeah, I should okay. double check that. Oh, 29. Oh, 29. 29. Yeah. yeah. So that's, and that's uh, uh, six, eight. Yeah. yeah. Eight. Size eight. Yeah. So these are great on you. And how tall are you? I'm a five nine. Okay. So I feel, I feel good in them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was playing around with. Shall I have a higher, a little lower? I feel like a little lower is cooler right now with the tee, depending on what top I have on. I honestly, I feel too that things have been so high on the waist with the pant for a while right. that the lower Just, waist feels interesting. So, so Teresa's is wearing the lower waist. I mean, Toretta is wearing the lower waist and. Um, and that feels new and fresh, but one of the things that we did just to kind of like play with the eye here is I'm wearing the Norris Suiting Group. And this pant is a flat front pant, but what we did to give that low rise effect was we created this double waistband. And this is something that we did a few years ago when, remember we did it with that corset? Yes, yes. and that like was, we did a tropical wool combo yeah. with some stripes. We should, we stripes. should bring that back. Yeah, the yeah, stripe looks really good. Um, so what's great about this pant though is you see it has this very flat front and so by doing the double waistband it kind of creates this illusion that your pant is a super dropped low waist which with a flat front pant like this I would never be able to wear something this low because it would fall right off. So this is supporting me right here. So when you're looking at this pant I'm a size 4 and I'm five foot five, so I've definitely got some good length on me. Um, and I've definitely got some dust on my pants because I'm yeah. wearing this like shorter heel with it. Um, but I like the options of being able to wear a higher heel and um, you know, I'll do the rubber band trick, right? And then in terms of emotional pieces, I'm wearing this, um, wait, remind me the name of this brand. Is it Redo, Redo, Rebirth. Rebirth Paris. Mm -hmm. So this is, and actually their Instagram handle is at rebirth underscore Paris. And this is this uh, little Lacoste shirt that I bought from them. So not sponsored, just bought. Um, and I haven't done, like okay. when I walked in, you're like, that's yeah. not this new for me, yeah. right? Yeah. And the thing is, I don't usually do this bling. I would never do it on a jacket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Maybe. yeah, Toretta handles are, she does all of our product development. So if I turn that into you in a jacket, just like erase, like, no, bad <laughs> idea. So we wouldn't do it on a jacket, but it felt fresh here. It and yeah. it's a vintage type shirt. So I think it was around like 130 euro or so. Someone's asking what the rubber band trick is. Oh, what the rubber, damn, where have you been? Uh, we'll have to find a rubber band. Okay. Anyways, basically what the rubber band trick is, is you take your pants, you tie it into a rubber band like a little ponytail and then tie it really tight and then you tuck it under and then all of a sudden you have got options on your pant length. Okay. So for summer dressing, what I did feel right in is even though it is 80 something degrees, I felt really good in this pant. It was not overwhelming. And I think we talked about the difference between woolen and worsted fabrics. This is a worsted wool. So it means that it's not all hairy and sticky, and it really is one that it's you nice can, and smooth, yeah. yeah so yeah. you can really start wearing this nicely in September all the way through. Like in April, I would wear it with a little tank top and right. sandals, and then I'd put it away in June and July. So Hannah's coming out now, and what size are you wearing? Thank you. <laughs> oh, they look so good. You look great. They look really good. Yeah. 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 On this video, I'm trying first time, so I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, this is good. <laughs> yeah. I love those. So you can see, and you haven't hemmed it or anything. No, not at all, but I actually but you're got wearing the same shoe right now. Oh, just so, so cute. Yeah. I never try them, but I really like it. <laughs> so she's okay. wearing the yeah. Bella Furry Pops. Aren't yeah. they the best? They yeah, the it feels so comfortable. Literally. It's actually pretty yes. high, but I don't feel that I'm not, used to it, so don't ask me. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Do you guys have flat feet or high arches? I would say a higher arch, so maybe more comfortable. I'm just always wearing heels anyway. I'm, I'm, just, flat. I'm asking because yeah. I have. Okay, so yeah. you know what? Like shoes are random, guys, and people's feet are random. Because mm -hmm. I just had one woman who DM'd me and said that 
they hurt her at the top of the foot there. And she, okay. I was like, do you have a high arch? Or, so what basically like, well, I just think if we look at people's feet, all our feet are different. So I mean, it sucks for her, but uh, yay for you guys. And yeah. everyone. Uh, overall, it's really so fun. Fun. everyone else. Yeah. So good. I think I'm um, very high up here. So talk about this for a minute, and I'm going to like change yeah. into something else here. So yeah, I, I think this is so nice. Because I'm pretty small, I'm, I mean, I'm, what is it? I'm five feet. So I was worried that this length maybe is gonna, you know, clean up the floor. So I usually don't wear this length, but when I actually wear it, feels nice. I don't mind have like bottom a little bit like yeah. long like that. But what I usually do, I mean, this is run from Amy for sure. <laughs> you know, I, yeah. Sweep the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. yeah. Right. But uh, what she just did, I actually really like the way she just poured it because I don't, you don't need to pour the front because it's not going to, you know, stab on the floor, right? So it's just at the back side. It's kind of tough. In right. Way. And then, you know, have a little pin, it's probably fine. I'm just going to show yeah. you, I yeah. do have some rubber bands back yeah, there. Okay. So I do want to show, show like, me. if you were to do the rubber bands. Yes, <laughs> of course. Do you need to start doing the bar oh, class with me? I need it. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I got two rubber bands tripped up in here. Yes. But anyways, so what we're going to do is we tightened her. <laughs> Good job. So see this like swing? And then yeah. we're just going to tuck him under. And then like that. And now it's like a little balloon pants style. Oh, I right? actually like it showing so cute, them right? my uh, skin there. Yeah. Yeah. I also do that with the tied shoes too. I'll like tie them yeah. on the ankle to yes. get that paper bag. Go now, by. I just want to point out, this is not a skin sandwich. Mm. So guys, when you start writing DMs after this, because you're like fingers, I can already hear them typing away. <laughs> that is not a skin sandwich. No one eats a sandwich that looks like that loop. Your sandwiches look like that, like, like that. It's no skin sandwich. sandwich, but I'm brown on brown, so. Well, <laughs> <laughs> brown legs. That is not a skin sandwich. This is not a skin I will say the brown on brown, like totally. <laughs> yeah, you're like I get a pass. You get away <laughs> with lots of sandwiches that could occur on someone else. But I think that uh, no, because again, what sandwich looks like that? That would be the stupidest right. sandwich. You would turn that. You would be like, no, back to the kitchen. So, um, all right. So I'm going to show you guys Fummer Wise too. One thing that is. Um, interesting to think about like when you are thinking about what are those perfect transitional uh, pieces for when you're going into summer out of fall or into fall and out of summer is think about colors so for us the perfect farmer items tend to be in a neutral like black tan gray and then oddly and this is not intuitive but oddly enough the other perfect farmer color is a bright white but when you do a bright white it works in bummer time when you do it in a heavier weight or if it's in something quite sporty, like the nylon track pants in white, we wear it forever. It doesn't matter, wear it in January with cashmere sweater and big boots and you're good to go. But uh, anyway, so the bummer colors are really um, those neutral colors. Cause if this was, if it was this or a saturated color, but I wouldn't yeah. wear this like in a really pale, I wouldn't wear pale pink anyway, so that's a stupid example. Um, what I want to show you guys too with this pant is it comes with this really long belt. And this belt lets you do all kinds of interesting... Anyways, I'm not going to get this right right now. And this would actually probably take forever to go to the bathroom the way I've done it. Anyways, it's supposed to like cross all... No, I'm really, I always like met, when I was at McMullen's last week, every time a customer came in, I tried to do the belt, they were like, do you work for this company? I was like, I do, this is my pant. Wait, show me what to do. Like, I'm kind of like, is it right here? I never do it how, like. Well, it's hard to do it on your own, yeah. but, oh wait, wait, and then I'm gonna come through here. Yeah, that looks perfect. And then I'm gonna buckle, okay? So just allow for some extra time in the restroom don't like drink too much water before, like anticipate earlier, okay? So we're gonna go like that. 
And so it comes with this belt, and that's really chic too. Now, I was not wearing the belt earlier when I had on the Rebirth Paris shirt because I already had the, um, the jewel thing. And somehow, between the tan and the gray and the mixture of the fabrications here, and then the jewels here, it felt like too much. So that's when I went without the belt. But what I did do in perfect summer vein is I did do the sock and sandal thing. So what I've got here is um, one of our sandals. This is a single sole. So when I had talked earlier on my stories last week about what kind of um, sandals work best with socks, I was saying that something that has um, See, this one has a bit more of, um, it's got a welt to it, mm -hmm. right? This one is single here. So what this means is you can imagine that if you were standing and it was kind of wet and snowy out, you could start to feel it seep through where it's not gonna really seep through on this one. However, it is September, so I'm going to get away with this one. Now, what I don't love with the sock and sandal though, is I don't love having um, the ties showing so just one other little trick that I do, because this one has ties, is I tie up the sock and sandal. I know, I'm like, really? The bar class? Um, fuck, I can't do uh, You jinxed me, man. Um, so I just fold it over right there. And then the other thing with the sock and sandal trick is going with the neutrals. So I'll show you guys with some other outfits later on, but like when you match the sock and sandal, that's when it just kind of turns, it just disappears and it really becomes functional. And this is where, you know, when you start dressing for functionality, that is when everything starts working together in your wardrobe. And I really, you know, this weekend I posted uh, videos from that What Not To Wear, remember that TV show? And I thought, they're, they're mean, they're really mean. And they're so mean because there's not one way of dressing. I, unless you like went on the show and you're like, I really want to look like Stacey London, which those people went kicking and screaming on that show. Like they were forced on. So they were not thinking that they wanted to look like, dress like them. But it's really, uh, there are so many different types of style out there. A lot of you guys asked me about what other kind of styles are there beyond uh, creative pragmatists. There are lots of different ones. I can only speak to creative pragmatists because um, that's what I am, that's what, um, that's what I love, and that's how we design here. But it really is about knowing yourself, then you know your style, and when you know your style, you really, um, other people's opinions don't matter unless you really want to know them. And I do come up to you, Toretta, or I'll Period. come up to Period. Don't matter. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. Right? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Life is short. Yeah. What? How old were you when you figured out that it doesn't matter? Oh my God! Like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it takes no, a while. Really, it takes a while to. I think, guys, I've been at TV forever. Like, what is this? My twelfth year. Yeah. And I think that my style has definitely evolved. Um, and I started to feel like myself probably in like my sixth year, just feeling comfortable in my skin in general. Like I was a baby when I started here. So it takes yeah. it takes time, it's all a journey. So it just is. have fun with it, that's all. <laughs> but you really found yourself first, so I mean that's yeah, part of it. For sure. For sure. Finding myself first and feeling feeling comfortable um, voicing my opinion and being in my own skin and just feeling validated, yeah. you know? So yeah. <laughs> So don't listen to other people and don't li and honestly, unless you love everything that I'm wearing, don't listen to me either. So just, I mean, other than like, just to listen to yourself. That's all I'm saying. No, this is all I'm learning. Yeah. And then listen to Hannah though about this. Yeah. this is <laughs> all right. So I came back because I really want to show beautiful trench on Toretta. Because <laughs> I'm going to show on me too because that's, you know, you can say, well, that's a huge, but when you actually wear, you don't feel like huge. Right. So, I mean, I love huge stuff, but it's, it's not overwhelming at all. Yeah. So, um, so here you go, the, let's try. Beautiful charge. Yeah, this was my dream trench, actually. <laughs> Matt, I think you'll be good in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> like, yeah, boy's gonna really, yeah. Try it yeah. on for you. So, 
I mean, be yourself and just show, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, for me, yes, it is big, but this is like totally the look. And let's see, what would I do? You know, I'm always, I'm a center, guys. You know, I'm gonna cinch. So yeah, show. Let's get it right. Hold this down a little bit. Yeah. Even though it, you just come out with, you know, whatever right, tie up, mm -hmm. it's just very stylish for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So there is a lot of stuff going on, but when you actually um, wear it, it's all in one that you don't really feel like you have a lot of stuff going on. So basically, this one, you know, when we design, sometimes you want to have another layer, but you don't need another layer. Put it out outside here, and then you look like you're wearing like two different pieces. Definitely. Yeah. So you can just sleep open. I like how just crop jacket. You have one more mm -hmm. on top of trench here. Mm -hmm. Right. It's really fresh. I feel fresh. I feel like <laughs> yeah. yeah. Amazing. Great. And I'm I'm really person always like clothing a lot. Like you know, like hiding <laughs> inside the clothing. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Yeah, so it's especially for those like really rainy yeah. days you, or whatever. You, you, yeah. you can pick your hair out. So oh, out. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Yes. Of course. So you know, like, don't have to just close up uh, uh, whichever mm -hmm. you want. And um, do we go a little bit closer? Yeah. Fresh, yeah, yes. I, I I love how she's so she. I love it how she. Uh, and then uh, here, here, and then we can even button up all the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I love you so much in here. So sweet. Anna's such a sweetie. <laughs> you, you see, right? I'm, I'm just like loving in this garment. So, yeah, that's. Really yeah, crazy. you can be in this way. I mean, how else would you want to go out in the <laughs> rain but like this? I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you that know, is the perfect, like when we talk about the thumber wearing it in right. gray mm -hmm. and it's lightweight, like right. it is so transitional. Is this thing yeah. that you layered on top of something one time or yeah. over something? Like, yeah, you can really yeah. like just layer it. You know, it's a great layering piece as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, like I think um, this is the one that like when you're traveling, this lightweight, traveling with layers is really key because I'm gonna throw on this jacket is one of my favorites, but it's not one that I would travel with unless I like yeah. had 20 people with me taking my luggage, which I don't, by the way. It's so heavy, but I mean, come on, and this is it. like, yeah. yeah, this has, this coat is the best coat. I love it on you now. I love yeah, it. It's yeah, so good. Yeah, no, it's yeah. like, and it's one that um, I'm really funny sometimes about w wearing like a wool coat for evening over like a dress. Yeah, same. But yeah. this is one that it doesn't feel like, you know, it's it's the good coat because it's got all the it's got structure to it, but it's it's such a classic. It's too. a good staple to have. Yeah. I think. This coat is so good. Um, it does. In a way, it's, it's heavy. Like, Can really? When, yeah, let's just see, like, yeah. what the, But seriously, like, if you put that in your luggage, they'd be like, okay, you're 30 pounds overweight. <laughs> <laughs> so you got, you have to wear it, not like carry on. Okay, um, this is great. Really you're so good. You're so, so good. good. I, I don't really feel weight much when yeah. you wear it. Yeah. So I think too, like this one's a size four. This is um, sized, right? Yeah. I, I don't want to misspeak, but I'm pretty sure we size this one. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is size four, right? Yes. And so it's a four because you've got the really fitted armhole. Everything mm -hmm. is seamed. This is tailored within an inch of its life. But what's great is even though it is so tailored, usually when something's so tailored, you can't fudge the sizing. Right. Mm. But you look great in this. Like you, I, like would you really buy this size? I don't mind his size, yeah. but I wear very big in general. 
but more for me the length. But I don't mind how no, this is. No, I like the length of the boot. Yeah, especially the boots can cover me the height. Is mm -hmm. it's okay with this long length. Yeah. You're gonna need those boots. For sure. I think yes. so. I know. I know where you can get them. <laughs> um, did right. you talk about your pants yet? Or Not your yet. Whole Not yet. This is good. What do you have going? Yeah. I, I just love the trend, so I try to try <laughs> on me, but you know, let's wait for. So this is the pants. Uh, you know what? I think I better change the shoes, right, to show the lens. Yeah. For me. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Be we should even put the code on map. Yeah, sure. that's, yeah, yeah, let's that's put the code on. Yeah. Guys, we're going to, this is, um, I'm going to introduce you to Matt Blackman, and he is our new social hey media guys. guy, and he does all of our content, and he just graduated with a degree in creative writing and, and a film minor. All right, so he's a very creative guy. He's doing our social media, and um, he's going to try this clothing on, because we even had him jump into the photo shoot, which I didn't explain, but... The three of us were out till one in the morning on Staten Island last night, so, yeah, so we're bad. pretty tired. Yeah. So let's see, this is, um, okay, so we're going up, I'm going to go up a size on you for the sleeve I, Yeah, right? this is actually size small, but yeah. uh, we, we made the size medium that actually could fit perfectly on the yeah. man. So this is going to be longer like this much, yeah. the size medium. But we actually try on our pattern maker, who is a um, man. <laughs> he looked amazing. Jay or? Jay, yeah. yeah. This is awesome. I would 100% wear this. Yeah. yeah. All right, Very well then it's a good thing that you uh, <laughs> took the job in yep. so, All right, cool. Thank you. All right, any questions, guys? You can okay, ask Matt over there. Yeah. Okay. So this, don't worry about how big it is, because I think as long as you get as, just wear as your style, then yeah. I think because oh, you're wearing a small. This is small, yeah. yeah. But good thing that I this fabric is amazing. I really don't put any weight on this. No, and it's water repellent, yeah. and it has a really good sound to it. And this yeah. is where um, you want your... <laughs> well, I'm such a... I always said when I was, when I was younger, we, like the big shopping that we would do is mom would take us to those outlet stores like Lomans, and there was one called Sims. And I remember I would just walk and I didn't look at the clothing, I would just feel the fabrics. And then I would stop when you could feel a really good fabric. And I didn't know good fabric from a hole in the ground, but I just knew that something felt really great about it and this feels really, yeah. really great. And what's, what's important here too, uh, proportion wise is, this has an intentionally dropped waist. So Toretta's mm -hmm. waist is lower on the Brancusi. Mm -hmm. This is a dropped waist. I'm wearing the dress here that has the built-in drop waist look to it. So this drop is very important. Um, and it's not like because it's a trend, mm -hmm. but when you have the drop waist, it conveys a sense of ease. And it gives like a real fluidity to a piece, even when, I mean, this is a more fluid fabric. It's not completely fluid, right? right? It's got crisp to it. Um, this is not fluid. It's tailored, but the idea of it is very, um, it's very fluid. And this is where, these are these subtleties that um, distinguish, like why I say emphatically that Tibby's not like a bohemian brand. Because if this was, if we were a bohemian brand, this whole dress would be in chiffon. And, and I would be fluid, like I would be floating out of here, and I, you know? But I'm not, I love something tailored, but I also like the ease and effortlessness to it. So that merger of that classic, but still very chill, and then modern at the same time, that CMC ratio that we talk about, that is absolutely like straight up in the creative pragmatist vain because we're all about being balanced, right? Yeah. And I think it's too, like when you, um, when you talk about the confidence that you had in finding yourself, right, finding your style, and then also in the clothing that you buy, the knowledge that like, you've got all these details that aren't like just so in your face, right. you know? It's, I'm like, we know that in your face TikTok are like the whole like, thing. Mm -hmm. 
and um, and I'm like whatever, that's their thing, but it's not my thing. And so I do like the details that are a little more subtle, that when you walk up, you're like, wait, that's not a top and a skirt, that's actually a dress. And it's not even a boot, it's actually a sock and a shoe. Which I know from a distance you guys are gonna like ring me on the sandwich thing, but <laughs> I just about I was just like, I know I can create a nightmare with this yeah. sandwich thing. Um, but anyways, sock, sandal, I've created a boot. It's a little too warm out for a full boot right now. Right. But I would absolutely wear a boot. So when it gets a little bit colder, because you're a little assholey walking around. And I mean, it's Fashion Week, so Fashion Week you can do whatever you want within reason. Like you should still be comfortable with whatever. But I think that um, by the time the end of September comes, by the time I get to Paris, which I can't wait, um, I am going to wear this boot. And it's going to be great. So you can wear the boot with it. And I like the juxtaposition that you've got this boot on, but then you've got this kind of like, are you business, you know, are you not? And then, of course, I'm gonna put the Liam coat with it. And this is the coat that actually has the Liam body. So it's got, again, all of those great details that are so subtle. This is not some crazy ass, you know. It's not like, oh, look, my bag can fit three peanuts in it. How crazy am I wearing this tiny bag? You know, this is like subtle details that are just quite chic where the collar comes off here, buttons that sometimes I go over to Tracy and Hannah and I'm like, why is this button here? And Tracy's like, I don't know. We liked it. And sometimes that's all it is. Yeah. Like we liked it. So you you have on the size large, I by do. the way. I okay. I didn't, yeah. I just yeah. Don't. So is that size large? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's a large. And then I'm going to give you the extra small. small. Do you think that before, uh, do I explain quickly about the pen? No. No. Okay. Talk fine. About that, okay. Right. Later. <laughs> Talk about that real quick. Thanks. All right. This is size extra small. Yours is size. This is the large. Large. The large. Yeah. Which is kind of, I mean, to be honest, when a coat gets this big, like you can't pull off the large, Hannah, like that would be that's that's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But I think, Charity, you can because of your height. Right, I get away with that, with right? the height, yeah. And I would totally buy the large, for sure. Because uh -huh. I could even put like, I don't know, like a puffer, a puffer vest or something underneath to feel, to block the wind or be even more warm. Right, because I I think that's the one thing that as cute as you yeah are. yeah <laughs> I just do it because in general it's sleeve length is very long on me always but that's why it became my in style <laughs> like yeah yeah out. yeah but still but you know style. right that's my style so go with my own style so everyone mm -hmm. just you know, find their own style. I think there is no logic that you should not that you should do. I think for especially for the height, and mm -hmm. you know, so I love on her how like fits on her mm -hmm. very nicely. And this actually uh, had the same volume as the trench we had before. But this one, uh, you can also same thing. You know, just mm -hmm. do this. Yeah, and yeah. Super cute. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I I feel totally fine because I thought it's a little long. So do I just cut a little bit? But when I actually wear, do you like with pump? I never try with a pump. I love it with a pump. Yeah. So I felt I'm never gonna wear a pump. But when I wear it, actually, I think this is good. I'm going like there. It. Yeah. I'm I'm so going there. I think it's. And I think even if you had a sock on uh -huh. with the pump, oh, that's, like, that's for sure. yeah. that would yeah. finish things up in a great way. Yeah, yeah. so I then I can go with a little bit chilly weather and then with the socks and then I would be totally fine. Yeah. So now I'm, she actually made me that I don't want to cut the legs. <laughs> yeah. I don't want it. Yeah. I don't want it because even, yeah. to be honest, even if you're wearing something like the the crop loafer. Yeah, because I think that what I would do if I were you and you're wearing the crop loafer is I would just um, 
Sorry. <laughs> Might catch it. I got it. Don't really worry like about the size. Body. This size, size five is very big. <laughs> the 40. Uh, I would just manipulate yourself a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I think. Yeah. Because I think if this yeah, was, so. when you've got a coat that's also, really stiff, I don't, but you could also do the... Yeah. Once right. I do tighter, mm -hmm. I actually don't mind it. It's just long. Yeah. And then, but I can um, just tie up. And then I can make blue zone mm -hmm. at the back. So it goes my waist, because it was lower waist. So then I actually feel fine with Okay, yes, so, so guys, this is where I, this is where I get the most DMs from you all, and this is really about confidence because you guys will send me a picture, and it, you will look exactly like Hannah, and you will send me a picture, and you will say, "Why can Hannah wear this and I can't?" And even for some of you, I've taken those pictures and I've cut off the heads, mm -hmm. and I've sent them back, and I'm like, "Name which one is you? Like you can't." even wow. tell the difference. So technically you look exactly the same as mm -hmm. Hannah here when she's dressed like this. So the question is, why do you think Hannah is working it and looks great and you look exactly the same, but you don't look great? And that's where it like, again, gets really into the psychology of dressing and how you feel because, fuck, I mean, guys, this is your clothing, it is your life, Life is short. <laughs> if you want to wear a big trench, like at least start with that headspace that if you want to wear a big trench, that you can wear it, okay? And then like figure out, okay, do I feel good in it or whatever, right? Like, I mean, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. But if you can take a picture of yourself and look exactly like the person that you want to look like and somehow say that you don't feel like that person, then dig a little bit deeper where those, where that's coming from. I feel like sometimes it takes like a good three or four weeks to like play around with something and really figure out how to style it, you know, do different things with it. Well, don't you sometimes take yeah. a picture like for Instagram or maybe you don't mm -hmm. use it and then I go yeah. back to it later <laughs> on, but then I go back to it later on and I'm like, yeah, that was, yeah, that was a good picture. Yeah. Yeah. I do, yeah. And you just needed some time to like... Just step away yeah. from it, you know, just step away from it, come back to it and be like, oh, like, mm -hmm. you know, it just not a big deal guys, it's just close. <laughs> well, and I also think too that um, the reality is that our design life mimics real life. Like we don't come to work and then totally change our whole mindset about how we approach fashion and everything. So the number of times that Tracy has walked into my office and showed me a design, or you've walked in and showed me a design, like you guys know that no does not mean no when we're talking about <laughs> style. Like, because sometimes no just means I'm uncomfortable with that and I haven't seen it before and right. I just need to react. And yeah. even when I'm like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, like I told Tracy, no, like, there, well, like we have a pant coming out for spring and Tracy's been, I mean like a year and a half, she's been bringing that damn pant into my office and every time I'm like, oh, get <laughs> And now, this last time, she walked in, and I'm like, that pant feels good. Yeah. Like, all of a sudden, it feels good. Yeah. And so, it doesn't feel good because you learned what's right or wrong, even though Tracy will tell everyone that I learned that she was right and I was wrong. <laughs> but it's more that your, your eye adjusts, and that there are different reasons for why you're craving different things. Right. So, even like, we just had our photo shoot for the spring collection, and... A lot of the looks are very long and fluid. Yeah. And so if you look at the current fall collection, if you look at the spring last spring collection, the hair was very heavily slicked back because there was a lot of sculpture here. There was a lot of shape down here. And so it kind of made everything up here want to just be kind of quiet and close to the body, right? So now when things are starting to get this kind of more long fluid look, when the hair was fluid, it looked like an asparagus stalk. Like it just was a little projectile. It wasn't so interesting. So, you know, there are reasons why all of a sudden that this bigger hair is feeling interesting. So trends do not just happen for no reason. They are really born of like lots of things going on 
around you, as we know, like the last right. two years, please, God, we weren't all wearing sweatpants two years ago, but now we are. Um, but, you know, so anyways, that's where they come from. So let things marinate a little bit. So I'm wearing the trouser skirt here. This is, um, yeah, this is, and this one is the, um, the leather trouser skirt. So this is the real deal. And we did this one a few years ago, and um, there was a, a, a picture of it in my feed. I'm wearing like Chanel slingbacks, like, which we know I never <laughs> wear, but like when I do wear them, I wear them with this. And, and not my tweed jacket with the Amonti buttons, which I don't know. But um, this is like the skirt that you'll have forever. Yes. And then we just love it with, so Hannah, tell me yeah. what's going on with my sweater here. So you designed this. So I don't want to for you to know what's going on. You just just put it over here. Yeah. So you know, again, I don't think you need to really think about too much where it should go, where the button has to be match or not. Don't worry about it. I think that's just be natural. Mm -hmm. And you can just put like, of course, you know, you have two button hole and two buttons, so you might just want to put it here. That's fine. And this actually here, you can put both, and then just come out mm -hmm. like that way but at the same time just leave it you know, just down and then and then here here I'm yeah. like all fixed yeah so yeah so you can just leave it symmetry but mm -hmm. if you want to be a little bit just, uh, I want to be just a little less look and just leave it down and then mm -hmm. I think it just being because sometimes I feel like sweater I love the how it looks material is but sometimes you're very flat so I want to have a little mm -hmm. bit of dimension. In general, I love have some structure and dimension. So when I think about beautiful material, I don't want to ruin the material. I want to respect the material. And then want to give some like, interesting three-dimensional you know, like, element. Well, I think too, when we, again, yeah. chill modern classic, mm -hmm. right? I think that one of the things that we, and I know when you first started working with us, you're like, why do we never sell a really like super delicate lightweight like breezy sweater and I'm like well yeah because I mean well I think when yeah. you were with Barbara Bowie in Paris that yeah. was one yeah. of like Barbara was always doing that kind of design and I was like well where am I wearing it it's sheer I'm gonna catch it on things I'm gonna snag it and we always said like um, we crave things that have a little more strength to it right but I think when you've got the strength of this airy fine extra wool, but then this, it's giving that ease, but like it's not like, I'm not covered in tassels. No one is like thinking that I've, you know, got my Coachella ticket in my bag. Like, you know, you just are doing your thing and um, mm -hmm. it's cool. Yeah. I'm gonna throw on a white dress. We'll, we'll, we'll Wanna talk about your family? Oh um, yeah, it's good time, okay. So, I'm uh, reminding the game, my height is five feet. So this is the size uh, extra small. I usually wear size zero or two. On it, on it's just zero, I'm more zero, I think. Yeah, so this one is size extra small for, uh, we made for a zero two or like zero. If somebody has zero zero, if they wanna wear a little below, this is fine too. But I like how just being on my waist for this one. So, and also the length, this is regular length, but as I said, I'm booty. So the regular length hits normal length. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't have that. <laughs> yeah, so this is full length basically on me, which is totally fine. So that's why we created like regular lengths for the petite person uh, can wear like tall six foot, you know, six feet model. Hopefully I look like a model, but I know I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. Like, yes, yeah. you are. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's the size extra small. You're wearing extra regular. small in a regular length. Yes. Though. Okay. Yeah. So what's interesting about this pant is um, we really, really, really try and engineer the pant as well as we can so that at whatever height you are that you can retain the same look. And so what's important about this pant is this little bubble thing that's happening at the bottom. 
That was important to us when we were designing it. If it's not important to you when you're wearing it, none of that matters. But when we were designing it, that was one of the things that we were going for. So for this pant, we actually created a longer length and a shorter length, because it wasn't just enough that someone like Toretta was forced to wear the shorter length mm -hmm. or the regular length. Or what, I guess we shouldn't call it regular. Okay. You're, you're regular. <laughs> Anyways. And um, the shorter. But what, what I'm going to show you is, so Net-A-Porter has this pant up, and they've got it on a 5'9 model, and they actually put her in an extra small. And so you can see it's quite, quite short on her. Now, I think that one of the this one. They put this they extra put, small. They put this on, that on a 5'9 model, yeah. right? And so the thing is, is when you, now this model might have been like super rail thin, right? But the thing is, is when you've got a pant with this much drape to it, and especially when you're taller, you can, she could have worn a small or a medium without a problem because that pant was, with her height, it was just going to pull down. So, um, and that was almost sold out. So, you know, a lot of people like love this height for sure. Whatever, or maybe, what, whatever. Yeah. This way whichever they did it. you wanna wear it. Um, whichever way you yeah. wanna wear it is fine. But what I'm letting you know is that um, sometimes you guys email me and you're like, hey, I'm, you know, I'm like, what size should I wear in this pant? I'm like, what's your height? What do you, you know, what do you want? And really, so if you're tall, even if you're real thin, a beam pole, you can really go up to a small or a medium. It's just going to hang and drape on you. When it's sculpted pant, when you've got the seams and everything on it, they would poke out and you would not feel so great. With this, you feel good. Yeah. Also, if it should not bother, I love how buttered they here, but if you don't really think this is too long, then just fold it up, you know. I think the white, the roll up here is roll up. I actually don't mind roll up. It's giving more some, you know, the shape at the bottom, like not yeah. shape, but it's the volume at the bottom, yeah. which is still cute. So especially when you have some has elastic, I think you should not think about too much. It's just roll up or roll down, and then whichever way you can really. Let's see yeah. this on Toretta. I want to see yeah. just. Even like, uh, so good. So this you can wear over the head, right? Mm -hmm. Or not. Right? Or not. Yeah, yeah you can just do it as a scarf too. So I just want to show we. These are Hannah's designs so here, cute. right? So you get these real fashion moments, and then I'm going to put it on here in the. This looks so. Good. I love it. You love it? <laughs> yes. It's so good. So one of these is a longer length than the other because mm -hmm. Hannah really just loved that and that was interesting. Oh, there are also a reason mm -hmm. why long because yeah. you can take it out mm -hmm. on this side. Mm -hmm. So use as your scarf. Right. Sorry, Because <laughs> if this was not this long, it's not going to come back to the front here. So that was on purpose that so made good. it longer. So if it's a little bit of that, you can just put it here. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, just like that, that you have the color coming out here. So that was on purpose that having one side the color longer. Mm -hmm. So you can wear as a scarf and yeah. Yeah, whichever you want to do it. Oh, this is yeah. creative pragmatic. <laughs> <laughs> this is super cool. <laughs> so good, right? Mm -hmm. So this is good because it's not super heavy, so you can even wear inside coat and right. something. Yeah, you want it in very cold weather. You can just wear it as for that. Yeah. And if you don't put it through the head, it really is just like, it's a full-on scarf. Yeah, like so just to leave it, right? Just yeah. you can just even leave it there. Yeah, ready to have. Mm -hmm. Um, so with the bolero moment happening, so this is the, is this the Frank sleeve? Yes. Right? And so this is in that wool that you saw in that beautiful coat that I had on earlier. So what that means is this has lots of guts and lots of structure to it. And this is one of the ultimate emotional pieces here. 
like no one is really walking into their closet and saying, you know, if I just had two sleeves made out of navy wool, like my closet would be complete. This is something that no one needs, but you kind of really just fall in love with it because, you know, even if you're just wearing the simple white uh, dress here, this all of a sudden takes it super, super fashion. And then wearing it with the boots, you have this amazing, amazing piece and uh, just super, super fashion. But then on my own, I'm a very um, non-scary, non-threatening dress here that you're gonna wear anywhere. And again, this is absolutely your farmer type item. When I said that oddly enough, white is a good farmer piece, here in a dress, doing the white in this canvasy weight, it still is soft. It's not like I'm wearing a painting, you know, or anything like that. So it's soft, but you've got the sculpted sleeve to it, and it really is great with a sandal or um, with the boot. So Hannah's trying on one last pant there. She that's the organic cotton. The organic cotton, yeah. What size is that? And I'm wearing a four. Am I wearing a four? Probably. <laughs> no, I just want to make sure it's not like SML, right? Four. Yes. It's a four. Mm -hmm. And so what's great, too, with these is I wear this dress full on. Like, this is absolutely 12 mower to me. I would roll up the sleeves. I would undo some of the snaps and make this a summertime. Mm -hmm. Hannah wears it as a jacket? Yeah. I can oh, you're going to take it as a jacket. Yeah. Okay. So why don't you talk about your pants real quick? Yeah. Because I have to have clothes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So this is one thing that, sorry, I'm, I'm right, yeah, in the back, <laughs> you're very uh, kitty, but like, um, okay, so like here, I just want to show these pants, actually, one thing that like people are very, uh, you know, like going, coming with, like the size is not working, and you know, like what should I do, and this is final series, blah, blah, you know, right? So then I'm thinking, I sometimes get the, the very last one that is not my size, but this these pants once you have all the elastic on it i really don't think you really think about like it should be here in this to be right if you put right. it up very big because we like how low rise which make it much cheer and cool for me so uh trace and i both really like like cheer loop and then here so if i fear too much i i don't mind just put it down you know, so this goes where it's supposed to go. I can do that way. And then one thing that I always worry about the height, you know, because I'm so short. So this basically, if I don't put it up here, the length is pretty long in general. So, but this, this has makes, a lot of stretch shirts. So you were wearing a small. Yeah. You can even wear yeah. it. Yeah. Part. So it's really a diversity that whoever you know just wear it and then just go with your style. And then here. I honestly don't like how much here, okay. as I'm a small person, so I'm just fine with it. rolling up, roll up, until you get where you wanna wear. <laughs> so, yeah. With the vegan leather as well, though, you can straight cut it with scissors. Oh, right? yeah. 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 It's very easy to cut. It's exactly, yeah. I love this that you rolled the waistband, though, because yeah. I just kind of put the... Yeah, rolling the waistband yeah. is yes. like yeah. easy. Yes. Now I fear like it's my side. Wait, real um, quick plug before you put this on. This is Frosty's. It's, really, it's the most delicious little restaurant. It's on St. Simon's Island, Georgia. It's amazing. It's delicious. <laughs> like, it's like cheeseburgers, but then like mm. shrimp sandwiches, yeah. fried shrimp I, sandwiches. I like the, yeah, the yeah. cute. So mm -hmm. just one thing quickly. Amy wears this as a dress. Mm -hmm. I I like always wearing uh, shirts as jacket and dress as a coat. So. I don't mind this stuff wearing as a coat. I think this weather is great because it's not really like cold and anything. But and this this is, I'm going to say this is your style. And yeah. Dion did this. This it is not work. my style. I always felt like people were like, yeah. can you take my temperature? Like, I feel like a doctor, but you don't look like a doctor. Like, I'm not coming to you for a so checkup, but it's your thing. Yeah, so I, I think also I wear something very um, fun inside. So yeah. It doesn't look too serious. Like, yeah. You know, so I. Yeah, like you would not be a good doctor. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I would trust you uh, with the that's cheeseburger true. on your chest. That's true. So I'm not a doctor, right? So, but uh, I, 
Amy actually showed me something. Oh, the big core. I actually don't mind. You know, like, just go with, like, I don't mind being a dress, but in my way. So yeah. I can. Yeah, I love, I love this. Yeah, like so, I'm, down, I'm down for that. For me, yeah. not now. I'm a different person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I I love wearing like as free a jacket and a coat or a dress, but not very clean way. Because sometimes I feel I'm too small to wear very clean. Mm -hmm. So this feels more like comfortable for me to wear this way. Cool. So yeah, and then you have a lot of you know this detail actually makes more modern like this. You can even have a little snap action in the back, like oh, yeah. if you want to snap your mask. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, sure. So we're gonna end it on this one here. This is the what's the name of this fabric, Treta? Um, what is that? Do you um, remember? This. The good fabric. <laughs> um, I was wearing this last week in navy blue. I can't remember, but um, this is great. This is a size four. I could definitely wear a size two in it if I wanted. This is the one that's got the built-in head on the inside that gives the little sleeve there. What I love is mixing something like this type of tight top that is quite refined, but when you mix it with um, a distressed denim here, it really, really balances everything out. But then I could be wearing a black top and a skirt and it's at a level that it could go out to dinner. But when I wore this top last week, one of the biggest questions I got was from people who said, I have um, a bigger chest, can I wear this top? I definitely have got some room in here, a lot of good room for people to put a chest inside. I'm really tired. I don't know how to say that any other way. You can put some boobs in here and, and they'll fit just fine. Um, so that is it. We are full on in spring mode now, um, and we're gonna give you some sneak peeks of the spring campaign that we shot yesterday, um, ironically at a high school in Staten Island. And one of the models, she was like, do you guys only shoot at schools? And I thought, no, but this is funny. This is a pattern. Um, so I can't wait to show you guys pictures. So good. Spring is so good, right? So good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Okay, so we will see you guys next week. DM me if you have any questions. And um, I know that you loved everything that you saw here. Um, and if you didn't, then whatever. Bye. Bye.